Look at the picture. Check up, Sparty. Check uh, up. <laughs> Welcome to Post Game Podcast. I'm your host, June. I got my boy B Foster in the building. We are continuing the offseason vibes with these uh, feature player of the week with uh, another NBA prospect. And before you start to indulge in what Foster has to say, please subscribe to Bleachers to Speakers on YouTube. And if you're watching and you rather listen um, for, for your audio feeds, you can check us out on any of the podcast streaming platforms as platforms like YouTube Music, Spotify, Apple Podcast. All you have to do is go into those platforms, uh, put post game podcast FFSN into the search, follow us, download the episodes. And if you're on YouTube, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. With all that being said, Foster, tell us who you're talking about. This guy just shooting the lights out the ball over over a Sparty. See, yeah, no, Diddy, you give them an inch and they take a mile. We had a discrepancy, a discrepancy by the picture. I said, you know what? I like this picture. Let's go ahead. But anywho, Cam Christie out of Minnesota. He's a three and D wing floor spacer. He's only 18 years old and he plays shooting guard at Minnesota. He's 6'6, 190 pounds. If he looks familiar, his brother Max Christie plays for the LA Lakers mm. uh, alongside uh, LeBron in the gang. Um, he averaged 11 points per game, 3.6 rebounds, two assists, and he shot 39% from three. Um, he was second on the team. And uh, ninth in the conference in three point three pointers made with 70. Um, and he actually measured in at six, four barefoot uh, with a six, eight wingspan. Um, he was projected to be a second round pick and he's a three level score with defensive versatility. He's got a smooth jumper. He's got a nice um, high release. Reminds me of Macau Bridges a little bit. Okay. Um, Macau Bridges is about six, six. He's got a, um, high high release similar to that. Um, I think Macau Bridges is probably a a more uh, a better defender uh, coming out of you know coming out and it, and he's got a much a longer wingspan. Macau Bridges' his arms are just super long. But anywho, um, he was a smooth. He had a smooth jumper and was a and was pretty much a catch and catch and shoot guy at Minnesota. He has seamless mechanics um, and he's reliable off ball. He re relocates well to maximize space. Um, he shot 43% on handoffs and 38% on shot on uh, jumpers in transition. And he shows comfort putting the ball on the floor as well. As far as, as his weaknesses, um, he's limited to who he can guard because he's only 190, 190 pounds currently. Um, and he's vulnerable against screens. He does not maneuver around screen, screens very well. You can kind of um, neutralize him with a nice, strong, nice, strong screen. Um, he's not particularly uh, quick and he's not and doesn't have, and he's not a fast twitch athlete. Um, he lacks recovery burst um, on defense and he struggles to get down downhill. Um, he lacks uh, confidence scoring at the basket. And we're going to talk about that right now. As far as players, his size, um, the median average is they will shoot 23. 23.8 percent of their shots at the basket um and an average a 50 56 percent field goal percentage at the basket um as far as christie is concerned he takes only 13 percent of his his shots at the basket and he converts only 36 percent so that's pretty not you know well below the the median average as far as players that are six six um, you know, you like you like for those guys to be to be able to attack the basket and, and shoot it pretty efficiently right at the basket. 
Um, so that's something that he definitely has to work on. He has um, will have more upside once he puts on some strength. Um, he played in a pretty physical conference, so hopefully, you know, he played in the Big Ten. Um, so he, you know, is more accustomed to physical play than the average. But um, yeah, I, I think that he will be able to score better at the basket as he puts on some more weight. He's only 18 years old, like I said, um, but definitely can shoot from the outside and plays very well off ball, which is definitely the guys that, that we like to see guys that shoot efficiently from the outside and can uh, re relocate, move without the ball and um, get open for the playmaker. So I, I um, would another guy that, is um, versatile defensively, can play without the ball and shoot efficiently from the outside. That's exactly what we need. Look at that sweet jump shot. If you're not, if you're listening, please, you got to go yes. to, you got to go to the YouTube. You got to go to Bleachers Speakers YouTube and look at some of these. Uh, look at this picture here. That's a sweet looking jump shot, man. I just. Eh, six four with your shoes off. Yeah. Ugh. Well, they play with the shoes on, though. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. But I'm just saying, like, we got to figure out what we're gonna do with Ivy. Yeah. We got to figure out what we're gonna do with that that other guard spot. So I like him off the bench, though. I, I certainly he's not a. I I don't I don't feel comfortable with just saying all right. Like I said, he's 18 years old. I think he'll be 18 at the time of the draft. Maybe, maybe I made that up. But um, so he's young, and he's still he's still phys you know he's still growing. I mean, think about how, how how big you were when you were 18 years old. Like yeah. you know, and then at this point, you're you know you you still you still are shopping for a second round draft pick. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, so not to just I, I, he would probably be a pretty good player in, with the second round pick. I'm just my mind gets locked on the fifth fifth pick of the draft. And then I'm like, okay, these guys, but we do have a second pick. So once again, Foster, great job. Subscribe to Bleachers, the speakers on YouTube. <laughs>